Car wrecks often involve more than two vehicles. In Fougere v. Pierce, the court considered how best to apportion damages when it's not certain which car caused what injury. Shyla Fougere was driving down a country road one November night in a heavy rainstorm. According to Fougere, she noticed a car approaching her from behind at high speed. The car came within one car length of her back bumper, flashed its lights, and then fell back slightly. This car was driven by Oscar Pierce, who denied having followed Fougere aggressively. A third car, driven by Mr. Lopez, was headed in the opposite direction, toward Fougere. Lopez lost control of his vehicle and swerved into Fougere's lane. His car struck Fougere's left front bumper and caused her car to spin sideways. A couple of seconds later, Pierce crashed into the left front door of Fougere's vehicle. Fougere broke her finger and her dentures and suffered a lacerated liver. Fougere sued Pierce to recover damages for personal injuries. Pierce argued that her injuries could have been caused by the head-on collision with Lopez, not by his side impact. Fougere recalled that the second impact was harder than the first. Fougere's doctor testified that he couldn't say which impact had damaged her liver, but that in his experience, head-on collisions were more likely to cause the type of movements that Fougere and her passenger described. The court instructed the jury that a defendant wasn't liable for any injury that was proximately caused by some other person. The jury found that Pierce was negligent, but awarded Fougere only $2,500, much less than she'd asked for. The court denied Fougere's request for a new trial. Fougere appealed to the Washington Court of Appeals.